Have you ever been out in nature and looked around? I mean, really looked around? Everything out here is trying to eat each other. Whether you're a bug, a deer, or a rabbit, you better look over your shoulder. Which begs the question, are we next? Join me, Veronica, for Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's crazed culprit, carnivores. Well, I'm out here, I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna play it safe until I know that nothing out here is gonna eat me for lunch. What's the deal with that anyway? How come some animals are happily munching on veggies while the others feel the need to feast on others? There are three main types of animal diets. We have herbivores, which eats only plants, omnivores, which eats plants and meat, and carnivores, which eats mostly or entirely meat. Carnivores come in all different shapes and sizes, including... Oh, I got me! There are some carnivores out there, like bears, lions, and sharks, that have been known to attack and eat human beings. They're known as man-eaters. I do not like the sound of that. In fact, it feels like there's a man-eater tracking me right now. Oh, sorry about that. You're all right. Actually, though some man-eaters are known to attack humans, there are no carnivores that specifically hunt humans or use us as a regular food source. That makes me feel slightly better about being out in the wild. Guess I don't need this anymore. When it comes to animals, predators hunt and prey get eaten. Carnivores that have no predators hunting them are called apex predators. They have the luxury of knowing nobody's after them. Some apex predators include lions, polar bears, bald eagles, American alligators, killer whales, and of course, humans. Way to go, Oz, am I right? High five. High five. No? So, why do carnivores insist on eating poor defenseless animals? I mean, I know that a salad isn't as appetizing as a juicy steak, but come on, guys. Are carnivores just picky eaters? Are they on a mission to rule the entire forest by eating everything out there? Is there anything stopping them? Well, I did some digging and I found out the truth about these meat-hungry carnivores. They eat meat just to survive. Their bodies are built differently from herbivores and omnivores. Carnivores have short digestive systems that aren't able to digest tough plant material. In fact, for some carnivores, eating vegetation will actually make them throw up. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll tell my mom next time I don't want to eat broccoli. Hey, sorry mom, I can't help it. I'm a carnivore. Not all carnivores are hunters, but they're scavengers too. Instead of hunting, scavengers will let another animal or natural causes kill off an animal. So they swoop down and get the leftover scraps. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that scavenger lifestyle. So what's keeping these carnivores from having an all-out feast and knocking off the little guys? Well, every natural habitat has a delicate balance of predators and prey where all the animals keep each other in check. If large carnivores begin to disappear as a result of human hunting or disease, the ecosystem becomes disrupted. With no predators to keep them in check, the prey overpopulate and start turning up where they're not supposed to be. Like in your backyard or in the middle of a cafe. <sighs> not another one. Hey, come on, dude, you're supposed to be out in nature. <clears throat> so the bottom line is that animals eat each other because that's what they have to do to survive. I guess I overreacted. Carnivores aren't all that bad. <laughs>